VTech Tech Award for Enterprise. Now we've been looking at promotion and now we're looking at target market and market segmentation. You've probably come across the term target market all the time, but just to confirm it, a target market is the group of people you are aiming a product at. Other people can buy it, but it's who you are aiming at. It's who you design the product for, who you promote the product to. So I have an example here, of some anti-aging cream. Now, the target market will be people who are concerned about aging. They will tend to be older people. Some people in their 20s might well buy it because they're worried about aging, but I would imagine this is target market is for people over the age of 40. Target market, the group of people you're aiming a product at. Hmm. So market segment, market segmentation. Market segmentation is putting people into groups with shared characteristics, needs and interests. So it's just a way of splitting up the market. Imagine the market is a whole and we could split it into um, parts by using demographics. We can split it into different age categories. There are certain products that I will buy that you will not buy because I am older. There are certain products that one gender will buy and not the other gender will buy. However, if we think about makeup, which traditionally was a female one, actually target market's a bit broader and some men are now in that target market. Family size, and that seems a bit odd, but I will buy a bigger car if I have a, or a different type of car if I have a big family, or I will buy a huge packet of cereal, whereas if I live by myself, I'll buy a small packet of cereal. Um, we can go for ethnicity, so certain ethnic groups and races and religions and cultural beliefs. They have different products. So if we're thinking about halal meat, um, if we're thinking about henna, uh, henna on your hands, things like that, are very tar are targeted for these reasons. How much money you have is another way of splitting it up. We can have pro products which are targeted at people with a lot of money, products targeted at people who have not so much money, which goes into socioeconomic group, which is your job and your income bracket. And educational level, you might think that people who have been through a higher level of education might be interested in more cultural products, perhaps the theatre. Now, I am obviously talking in stereotypes, but we can split the market up using demographics as a way of slicing it. The next way we can is geographic. We can split the market up to where people live. You might target a product who pe for people, you might just have one shop in a town, you target your product purely at them. Um, if you made um, coats, you might make a particularly warm coat for people who live in Norway. And if people live in Spain, you'd make a slightly cooler coat. So you change the products. Um, McDonald's make different products for different countries. So in France, it has a different range of products than it does in England or some different ones. So geographic. We have behavioral one which is you know, different, more difficult to understand, I would say, but is it the consumer buying it or the customer buying it? So if we're thinking about behavior, so um, a parent might buy a book for a child. The consumer is the child, the customer is the parent. How often customers buy? So you might segment the market of people who fly once a month, or people who fly once a year and we'll deal with them in different ways. Um, the benefits they expect to get from them. So um, I might expect to buy Hook Farm milk and I'm expecting the benefit of better digestion where other people are expecting a benefit of high levels of fitness and whether they are loyal to the brands or businesses. So we might segment the, pe the, the um, market on People who are really loyal will offer them one particular type of um, incentive. And people who are new to the brand, we might offer a different type of incentive. And finally, psychographic. Now, psychographic covers absolutely tons of stuff. This is the social class, how we are rooted. So we might be working class, middle class, upper class. Our attitudes to life. I might be environmentalist. I might be um, 
conservative, Green Party, all these sort of things are my attitudes, and that will, we can split the market up in those ways. So an environment washing up liquid, I might buy an environmentally friendly washing up liquid, and other people might buy a washing up liquid which um, was antibacterial because they were more concerned about bacteria and stuff. Lifestyle things, I might like skateboarding, therefore, I will buy more skateboarding clothes. I might really like heavy metal music. I love dogs. Um, yeah, all these different ways of splitting up and different types of personality as well. So we can split a market by using these different methods. Now, if we have a look at a couple of examples, I have here a chairlift. So somebody who finds it difficult to go upstairs may well buy a chairlift. So if we're segmenting the market, you've got older people in the image, we might segment the market on age because traditionally it's older people who are um, less able to go upstairs. We might um, segment the market on lifestyle psychographically because they're people who are disabled. And we might segment the market on income because they're really expensive. So you do need a certain amount of income. So we're splitting up the market, perhaps going for older people with higher income, and we're looking for people who um, find it difficult to walk. If we have a look at the next one, I've got Al's Barber in Hailsham. Now, Al's Barber does men's hair. So we are segmenting it on gender. We are also segmenting it geographically, because if I'm in London, I'm not going to travel down to Hailsham to get my hair done. He is only targeting his products. He is set, splitting the market up geographically. He wants people who live in Hailsham and around the outskirts of it. If we have, we've got lovely vegan cheese here. So I'm not really sure there's much demographic going on, apart from that it's quite expensive, so income might be important. Certainly not geographic, it's available all over the UK. However, a vegan lifestyle might be um, what we're looking for. So in some ways, some um, religions have more a vegan um, side to them. So we could say perhaps that demographics in a certain way. And finally, we've got a delightful Gucci belt, not geographically, buy it anywhere. But there's a sort of attitude and lifestyle. It's to do with fashion and choice. Again, it's an expensive item, so we might have it on income. So we've got different products segmenting the market, putting people into groups with similar needs and wants. So a target market is who you're aiming the product at. Market segmentation is how you split the market up. Job done.